So uh, we're, we're excited to announce that uh, Tesla's uh, global engineering headquarters will be right here, the uh, former headquarters of uh, Hewlett Packard. Um, and uh, this is, uh, I think, a poetic uh, transition from the company that founded Silicon Valley to Tesla. And we're very excited to yeah, make this our global engineering headquarters um, in California. So. Applaud, everybody. <laughs> There's a lot to be excited about. Well, I appreciate I mean, I, Eli and I were talking about, obviously, the symbolism, but also the substance uh, that's reflected in an event like this and a day like this, but also, I think, the relevance of the world we're living in and, you know, what defines the trend lines of the world and how is California in particular, a state, you know, that prides itself on being on the leading and cutting edge uh, of discovery and new ideas and innovation. How do we take advantage of those trend lines? And, I've said it for decades now, and we first met quite literally a few decades ago before those first cars were rolling off the line, uh, that if you want to be big, big, big and big things. And the opportunity to transform the automobile industry, uh, to lead the world, not just this nation, to lead the state in this extraordinary journey we've been on over the last 20 years, to be now the dominant manufacturer in the dominant manufacturing state. People forget that. California is the largest manufacturing state in the United States, now the fourth largest economy in the world. Eat your heart out, Germany. <laughs> um, and a state of remarkable resiliency. 7.8% GDP growth a year ago, 2.9% last year, outperforming the rest of the nation, outperforming some of these competitive states. And in so many ways, I recognize the world we invented is now competing against us. And you can't rest on your laurels. You gotta step up your game. Uh, and you got to invest in your growth engines. And I couldn't be more proud of California's commitment to support Tesla over the course of the last few decades. It's demonstrable in terms of policy, in terms of direction more broadly, and interesting regulation, dare I say, for all its good and evil, depending on which side of it you're on. But the regulatory framework accelerated investment accelerated with some certainty that this was the direction we were going. And as a consequence of the California Air Resources Board and the investments we have made over the course of years, uh, we're able to lay claim now to 44 manufacturing headquarter companies in the electric vehicle space, but none that dominate like Tesla. And so it's a point of pride, always has been for me, that Tesla is a California company, started here First, We say about our state, the future happens here first. We're America's coming attraction. Yeah, in fact, you were one of the first people to buy a Tesla Roadster back in the day. I, uh, I, I we appreciate just, you saying that. We were just uh, talking yeah. about that. Yeah, uh, I told him he had my money for a long while with yeah. that. That, <laughs> that was a, by the way, that was a healthy deposit you had to make. You didn't yeah. trust me. It was you like 100, I was 100 grand, off. I think. Yeah, yeah thank uh, you very back, much. Back, back when, when I had money. Yeah, when that was a lot of money in 2007. It's still a lot of money. <laughs> trust me, brother. You, you haven't looked at my salary. So, okay? uh, By yeah, the way, anyway, I think, I think for I was, supporting, uh, we had about the same net worth back then, 20 yeah. years ago. I but, think mine but, went negative for a while. Yours went negative, <laughs> and, uh, and I, got, I got a pension, so eat your heart out. You yeah. Know, so you don't have to worry. But I, I look, I'm, I'm grateful. It's, it's, as I said, it's been a hell of a journey. And to see the engineer, look, and I'll just close on this because it's important. It's not surprising to me, but I don't take it for granted, so I'm grateful, um, that the world's headquarters for engineering, for AI, for pushing out the boundaries, is here in California. We have more scientists, engineers, more researchers, no more, no more, more Nobel laureates, more patents, still more venture capital in a state in the nation. I think that's... Again, what separates our game from the game played in so many other parts of the globe. And so you're yeah. a huge part of that success, our success, California, America's success. And I'm here because uh, we don't take that for granted and we yeah. appreciate the investments you're making here today. And you mentioned uh, manufacturing. Um, and it's worth noting that uh, Fremont Manufacturing Plant is the highest uh, uh, output uh, automotive plant in North America. So it's, uh, we'll probably do about 600,000 or more cars this year, yeah. things, assuming things go well. And um, so that's, uh, it, to your point, uh, California is a, a tremendous manufacturer as well as a, a place of uh, engineering and innovation. Yeah, which is, again, often so lost. We also have more hunting jobs and more fishing jobs and more forestry jobs. I'm not just... It's a big state. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, these are things most yeah. folks don't connect in terms of the dots to the state. And we're also the most diverse state and the world's most diverse democracy. And I think pluralism matters. And I think that's one of the reasons we get first round draft choices around the rest of the world. So uh, again, this is called a California promotion, uh, at least my rhetoric. Uh, but it's also California pride. And I say that as a guy who grew up here uh, and those that count us out, those that think our best days are behind us, um, I've been hearing that my entire life, half a century. Uh, and I think today is just another proof point of the renewal and the energy and the vibrancy uh, that is California. And, uh, and again, takes visionary leaders, yeah. takes guts, takes courage, takes risks uh, taking, and, um, and it, it, takes, uh, it takes partnerships. So I'm, I'm appreciative of you and appreciative of our partnership over the course last 20 years. And, uh, let's uh, let's see this as the beginning of something even more extraordinary on the journey to dominate in this space and to change the way we produce and consume energy in this state, in this nation, and the world we're trying to build. Well, it, we, at Tesla, we're looking forward to an exciting partnership with California to do exactly that and transition the world to sustainable energy as quickly as possible. So thank you. All right. Thanks, you Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And if there was a ribbon to cut, we'd cut it. Yeah, yeah there it is, <laughs> the virtual chop. All right, thanks, everyone. Thank you, everybody.